Very good morning my friends, how are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So again, as part of being honest and transparent with every one of our followers, we are sharing here our results from the premium group of uh, Forex and sadly the week did not go as well as I was hoping for. Uh, we only had two good days. Uh, the, we, then we had one day, one day as a break even, the other two days, Monday and Friday, were actually really bad. I just wanted to highlight that we are doing our best, my friends. The market sometimes might move against our will and against what we are expecting. And I wanted to highlight also that these things are normally happening. Actually, these are not our results that we are usually having. As you know, those who have joined Extreme Trader Premium Signals Group long time ago, they know very well that usually we are ending all the weeks in green results and in profits and we are actually used to find always these good and positive messages from the members who are very pleased and happy to join our signals group these this is what we are used for what's happening recently is really the unusual unexpected and we hope you understand that the market is really in tough situation right now it's not only for us it's for everyone actually um there are some people who really don't appreciate what hard work we are doing i mean they are just making profits every week then suddenly when we are having one or two bad days they attack us they are calling us scammers they are calling us fake they are calling us all kind of bullshit really you can imagine i mean that is totally not acceptable we have more than two years of very good results and very good uh, feedbacks from everyone who have joined and you can never judge us from just a few bad days we had only because of the market situation right now especially the US dollar it's going in a very tough time now uh, um, due to the COVID-19 situation in the USA so we hope you understand what's happening guys it's really not in our hand we are doing the best we can to deliver to you the best signals possible and again that is what we have been doing for for a really long 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 time we hope you understand and really hopefully the next week is gonna bring us more profits and hopefully we are going to recover all these losses in the next week so before we start the weekly analysis it's very important to highlight that there are rumors now whispering in the internet that kim jong has died saturday night and we always have to prepare for such a news because this actually will affect the market definitely uh, it will make uh, i think it will mainly affect the pound uh, and sorry the pound i meant the jpy and the usd dollar uh, we have to wait to see if these news are correct or not. However, I'm going to send the weekly analysis based on the current situation of the market. And let's prepare because if these news are correct, then this analysis itself might not be valid. And I will follow it up with another video for the analysis. And we will see together what we can do if these rumors were correct. So uh, right now what's happening uh, thankfully the last week I sent the signal to short the euro USD from this point here on the level 1.0873 and thankfully the signal has went in profit all the way and it hit exactly the take profit uh, level given in the weekly analysis video so those who have joined this signal have entertained approximately 156 pips of profit so now what's gonna happen next with the euro dollar now from my point of view we had here a strong rejection at the support level and we can see that this support level has kept its position as a support right here as well so we had here a support number one and this is exactly here a support number two so now what's going to happen in my opinion is we're having here this resistance trend line and the pair after the rejection from this support level most likely is going to continue climbing all the way up here until it hit the same level of the resistance where we entered the sell last week so therefore this uh, this week the signal for the euro dollar is going to be for the buy however it's not going to not going to last for a long time as i said we are going to give the signal to buy from this level right here and then we're going to keep the trade running all the way until it hit this resistance so it's gonna be like a short term signal instead of long term uh, let's now move to the one hour chart and let me just tell you most likely let me tell you guys most likely what will gonna happen is since we're having here also a support number one and we are facing right here a resistance which was also a, a previously a strong support level so we are expecting from the euro dollar 
to actually reverse from this point falling all the way down to hit this previous support level and then from that point it's gonna create a support number two and then we can start actually buying the pair and keep it running all the way until it hit this very same resistance trend line however um, just to be safe and to not uh, miss the signal we are we are having right here also another strong support level and I think the pair is gonna respect this support level right here on the level 1.0833 therefore we can start buying the euro dollar right from this point right here and we can keep the trade running as I said until it hit the resistance level and it's gonna be our take profit level and if you enter the, the signal with the buy order you might expect for the pair to go a little bit against you just to hit this previous support level and then it's gonna continue climbing its way up let me tell you something we are on the one hour chart if you see a bearish breakout candle breaking out from this previous support level then close this trade with the loss and let's wait and see what will, when is the when the pair is gonna exactly reverse because in that scenario if this happens it might actually reverse from the support level you can keep the trade running until this way uh, this level actually however those who are not willing to, to risk losing a lot of money i'm telling you guys you can close your trade if you see the bearish breakout candle right from the support level and then prepare to place another buy order right from this previous support level and in this case if it happens we are going to keep exactly the same take profit level most likely uh, the euro dollar is gonna rise that's for sure uh, going to the daily candles we can notice the rejection here and the price action indicating a definite growth in the euro dollar that's why I believe it is gonna be valid uh, for the buy this week and I don't think it's gonna fall down right now so we can start buying the euro dollar on the level one oh my god I'm typing in Arabic uh, come on oh come on man it's really English come on you see uh, 1.0803 <coughs> and let me just set for you the tech profit level just to be safe and realistic we can look for approximately 67 pips of profit from the euro dollar tech profit level is on 1.08730 after that we are gonna see what will gonna happen we will prepare to see what will gonna happen next we are expecting from the pair to actually break out from this resistance level with the bullish breakout candle and if this happens you can keep your trade running all the way until it hit this previous resistance if you see the bullish breakout candle anyway that was my forecast for the euro dollar hopefully it's gonna work out let's check right now the pound USD now actually I was expecting from the pound USD to reverse right from this previous support level however the pair is actually continue the growth so far uh, I don't think it's gonna continue rising all the way I believe we can start shorting the pound USD right from this level right here as we can see we're having right here a, a, a strong resistance level that resistance level cannot be simply ignored after this bearish breakout candle from that previous resistance and seeing the support trend line we can see that the pound USD is actually growing and it's gonna keep growing all the way until it hit this previous resistance so what we are going to do with the pound USD this week is gonna be interesting because we are going to send two signals one is for the buy and the other one is for the short let's see where we can exactly start buying the pair so oh, this is the tech profit level and seeing the pair actually ranging right from this support level right here let me just uh, try to be safe as much as possible guys I believe that we can start buying the euro sorry the pound USD after the reversing from these resistance attempts the pair most likely on Monday opening gonna reverse all the way until it hit this previous support level then from that point we can start buying the pound USD and it's gonna bring for us hopefully very good profits of approximately 130 pips now of course the last week signal was for the short however the price action and the changes happening in the market and the reverse um, from the support trend line like that all indicating that the pair seems to be still uh, growing or actually uh, climbing its way up let me just show you this 
that is what we are waiting for we are seeing here that we are having a resistance trend line on the pound USD and what I'm expecting here is very similar to the Euro USD the pair is gonna continue climbing all the way until it hit this previous resistance and also hit the resistance trend line then from that point the pound USD is gonna fall all the way until it hit this previous support level right here therefore uh, as I said the pound USD is gonna be good for the buy <coughs> on the level uh, 1.2 3275 and then let me just select for you the levels of take profit and sell as well <coughs> we can expect approximately 106 pips uh, profit from this trade so take profit plus sell again for the euro for the pound the usd on the level 1.24389 this is where we can start uh, shorting the pair again really I think this is gonna be one good signal and hopefully the market is gonna be loyal and follow it let's check right now the AUD USD uh, AUD USD signal uh, last week sadly did not really work very well we can see that I have sent the signal to start shorting the AUD USD right from this level it went for approximately 40 40 pips uh, in, in the right direction however uh, this support level was very strong and the pair has reversed right from it and continue the growing from this level so now what we can expect uh, from the AUD USD now I believe that the AUD USD is still trying to break out from that resistance trend line it didn't break out yet uh, out of the level and we can see that right now the pair is on a resistance level therefore we can expect from the pair to actually make another attempt right here exactly right here uh, if I'm not mistaken we can change the way to draw this re resistance trend line from this level right here yes exactly like that so we can see that the pair is actually arranging on this resistance trend line and most likely the pair is also gonna break out from this level uh, because the momentum is actually very strong the bullish momentum is very strong as we can see and the pair right now is trapped or actually going in very narrow uh, place in this trend line uh, on the th in the trend sorry therefore what I believe is the AUD USD is gonna fall right here reverse on this previous support level and then gonna continue growing all the way until it hit this previous resistance level right here however this signal uh, can be easily not valid in case you see any bearish breakout candle breaking out from this previous support and uh, support trend line and support as well if you see the candle or, uh, on the four hour chart or even one hour chart completely closed as a bearish breakout candle from this support please close the trade with the loss because this signal is not valid anymore uh, we have to prepare and be always paying attention to the price action because it is actually what decides if the signal should be closed and lost or not let me just uh, fix the entry point for the buy of the AUDUSD I believe it's gonna be right here the pair is gonna reverse hopefully we just have to wait for the right moment uh, don't short the AUDUSD I don't think it's a wise idea at all to short it right now we are just hoping for the next pullback to hit the previous support then from that point we can start buying the AUD USD again so it is buy for the on the level 0 0.63517 and again if this happens we can expect a good profit of approximately 175 pips of profit take profit level is gonna be on the resistance on 0 0.65211 so hopefully it's gonna work out and we will see what will gonna happen let's check right now the USD CAD so the USD CAD signal did not really work well as uh, um, didn't work uh, well and we can see it went for almost 45 pips of profit before sadly fall down again so now what's gonna happen with the uh, USD CAD one second guys sorry about that so again let's go back to the USD CAD the USD CAD if we want to draw a resistance trend line like that or even like that it's all lead to one way 
that the USD CAD is actually falling. I don't think the USD CAD is gonna rise after what happened. Uh, we can see that recently the USD CAD has reversed from the support uh, from the support level. However, the strength from the resistance trend line is much stronger actually. And if we go to the daily candles, we can see that the pair is in general falling down after reversing from this resistance twice. Therefore, I'm expecting from the USD CAD to actually reaching this previous resistance level and then from that point is going to continue falling all the way until it hit this previous support. Now, of course, we are on the daily candles. Let's go back to the four hour chart and let's expect where we can start actually short the USD CAD. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, actually, that is going to be the best level to start shorting the level. Uh, sorry, shorting the pair. It's similar to where we expected the, the buy last week. However, of, of course, these strong bearish candles have changed everything. Therefore, I really don't think that we can send any uh, other signal to start buying the USD CAD. So let me just make it short. We can uh, sell the USD CAD on the level 1.41641. That is exactly where we can expect from the pair to, f to fall after hitting this previous resistance trend line and this uh, resistance and well as well. And we can keep it uh, running actually all the way, if I'm not mistaken, uh, until it hit this previous uh, support level right here. It's going to be very short, uh, so, sorry, it's going to be very long term signal. And therefore, I think just to make sure everyone is safe and going to make some decent profit, I'm going to change. Um, the target or the deck profit level just to be on that support level right here right here exactly so that is going to be your tech profit level is almost 100 pips of profit just to be sure because i just um, as i said uh, the market might not be very stable due to the rumors of the death of uh, kim jong uh, 1.405 zero five zero eight that is our tech profit level hopefully this signal is gonna work as well let's check right now the usd gpy so uh, the usd gpy signal last week didn't work well as well also however uh, what i can what we can expect from the usd gpy is actually it's gonna continue the fall as well looking at the support level we can notice that the pair has recently break out from this resistance uh, sorry from the support trend line like that the pair has finally made its fall below the support trend line and therefore we can expect actually the pair to make a small retest on this level so we can actually start shorting let me just tell you exactly let's go to the one hour chart as we can see, the pair has actually made its breakout from the resist uh, support trend line. And we can start short. Yes, this is perfect. Let me just be sure. Yes, this is perfect. We can start shorting the USD GPY right from this level. Sell on the level 107.674. And we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit actually this previous support level. So it's going to be like 75 or 73 pips of profit. Hopefully we are going to get them all. Uh, take profit is going to be on 106.955. So hopefully this signal is going to be good as well. By the way, uh, the same thing applied here. If you see any bullish breakout candle right from the support, uh, resistance level, please close that thread with the loss because if you see actually any breakout candle from that resistance level here that means the pair is most likely not gonna fall at all and we have to close the thread with the loss so please pay attention to that and it's not gonna be that much it's gonna be like 38 pips maximum so please uh, be careful guys and use a, pro a proper lot size on this trade I just had to close the annoying WhatsApp messages. Uh, let's go to the USD CHF. So USD CHF is also, we can see that the signal for the USD CHF has worked very well last week. That was our buy level and that was the take profit. So it went really well. Those who have joined this signal have got about 65 pips of profit and actually even a little bit more. However, uh, right now the USD CHF uh, gonna as well fall 
after reversing from this resistance trend line, uh, this, uh, this resistance level, we can see that the pair has actually uh, tried to break out from the resistance and show this price action, which indicating a continuation in the bearish momentum after reversing, if I'm not mistaken, from this resistance level right here. So, let's make it short. Uh, USDCHF is actually very good for the short, exactly from this level. On the level, we can start short. My God. We can start sell the USDCHF on the level 0 0.974 double three. And let's see how far we can keep the third running. Uh, let's go back to the four hour chart. Yes, exactly. Until the support level. So we can look for almost 60 or 70 pips of profit. Hopefully we are going to get them all. Um, take profit is on 0 0.96710 the reason I'm not giving the take profit level below this level here is because there is a possibility of course that the pair might reach the support level and then from that point it's gonna continue the rise uh, nothing confirmed yet we have to wait to see what will gonna happen however uh, so far what I can see from this price action on this resistance uh, that tells us that the pair is gonna actually continue the bearish uh, reversal and after finishing the form of completing the um, After finishing the reversal from these resistance levels, we can see what will gonna happen Maybe it will continue falling to the support level. Maybe However, it is still not confirmed yet. We have to wait any price action. Therefore, I'm gonna give you a very short term signal uh, just to enter here and exit right here with approximately 70 pips of profit Now let's look finally at the gold the gold signal almost worked I sent the signal to start buying right from the support level and the gold has reversed from the support level here indeed uh, instead and It went for almost 450 pips even more actually it went for almost 570 pips uh, I wish really that I have given a higher signal higher level to start shorting the gold however what happened has happened let's see now what we can do with the gold <coughs> let me just get rid of all of that all right so let's go to the daily candles and let's see what's happening actually here this actually on the daily candles that price action usually is very good to indicate a reversal a bearish reversal so we can expect that we had here a resistance number one we can expect from the gold to actually now start the reversing um we have to wait monday morning if we are going to see the gold has opened monday morning above this resistance then this whole signal here is completely invalid don't try to short the gold from above this resistance because that means the gold will continue the rise However, what I suspect right now is the gold after seeing this price action from technical view the gold is gonna actually make this reversal here and is gonna make another attempt of this support level. So of course again that is on daily, on daily candles going back to the 4 hour chart we can expect from the gold we can start short, uh, shorting the gold right here uh, just let me just yes that is better so we can start sell the gold on the level 1736.41 and again I'm gonna give a short term signal just to be sure everyone is gonna hopefully make a decent profit out of it that's enough 283 pips of profit that should be uh, fair take profit is on 1706.33 hopefully it's gonna work and we are gonna make some good profit I want to remind everyone about this news uh, about the rumors of the possibility that Kim Jong has died Saturday night and again please be careful uh, let's wait and see how the market is going to react to this news in case they were correct so in the end I really hope this is going to be one very profitable and good week for everyone and in the end I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching